Good afternoon. This is Stephanie Marchman uh, here for the Code Enforcement Special Magistrate Hearing, May 13th, 2021 at 1 p.m. Um, we will go ahead and start with the Pledge of Allegiance. We will start with um, old business, and we don't have any, it doesn't appear we have any participants today, either online or in the hearing room. Um, We will go ahead and start with case number 18473, owner Jared and Shanata Richardson, address 553 Northwest Broadway Avenue. And Ms. Jones, we'll go ahead and swear you in uh, for all of these cases. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Thank you. This case has been previously before the magistrate. This home was um, a home that had caught on fire and the owners had stripped part of the home. And on June 13, 2019, the magistrate at the time ordered that the violations become cured within 90 days. They should also be responsible for maintaining the vegetation on the property. And in the event that they did not comply, fine of $25 a day would begin on the 91st day. At this time, the city has gone back out and inspected, which was myself at several times. The property continues to deteriorate into safety condition as the beams are exposed. Um, the weather is deteriorating the home. There's also trash and debris. The property owner was mailed a violation letter and notice to appear. We did not receive the green card back. However, I have posted the city hall and the property on the 27th of April, and the owner has not responded in any way. They were supposed to actually demolish the house. At this time, the city would like within six months to foreclose on the lien and or possibly tear the home down at the owner's cost. And if not at the owner's cost to tear it down once upon the city obtaining the foreclosure. But we would like to have a lien on the a seek a lien on the fine that's currently established. That's what I have for you, ma'am. So, Ms. Jones, I'm looking at the order dated June 28, 2019, and it appears that the city already has the relief that it's seeking today. Uh, in particular, paragraph two provides that if the respondents or the property owners um, didn't comply with paragraph one, which was to uh, obtain a permit and demolish the property, and maintain the vegetation, then a daily fine of $25 was imposed and began to accrue. And that that fine can already become a lien on the property. And then that lien can be foreclosed upon by the city. The order also permits the city uh, to proceed with demolition of the structure and debris removal on the property, the cost of which may amount to a lien on the property under paragraph two above. So it seems to me that the relief you're seeking has already been ordered by the special magistrate. The previous magistrate did not write an actual lien. She just wrote an order. Our city attorney had advised us that we needed to create an actual lien to 
move ahead with the foreclosure. So they asked me to bring that back because of that. I did also have the affidavit. I think I did email it to you, but in case you don't have it, I do have a copy for you. The affidavit of posting. And who, uh, well, what's the name of the city attorney who advised you that you needed an actual lien? Fred Coberline. Sorry, there was a car going by. Right okay, there. Fred Coberline. What, how do you spell Fred's last name? K-O-B-E-R-L-E-I-N. We had a similar case such as this, and we attempted to foreclose, and they wouldn't let us proceed because we didn't have an actual lien filed at the county courthouse. Is from what I understand. And this is the, the judge wouldn't allow the foreclosure? Right, they wouldn't proceed with it. Okay, okay so I'm seeing no other um, participants here today um, and given the circumstances uh, in terms of the order previously issued and uh, on June 28, 2019 and the continued um, status of the property uh, with respect to vegetation and a building that needs to be demolished, I will go ahead and issue the lien mass set forth in the June 28th. 2019 order. If you so choose to, and you would like us to do that, um, I believe we can do that. But previously, the other magistrate had done it. If you'll um, send me the form that you would like, sure, or the city sure attorney will. would like, <laughs> I sure will. I will take a look and okay. issue it. All right, so we will wait on you to um, wait on the city to provide a proposed lien. Okay. I will have the director contact Mr. Kobeline and hopefully Mr. Kobeline will reach out. Okay. The second case that you're going to hear is in a similar situation. Okay, so the next case on the agenda is 16 497. Julie Adams and John McGill Pruitt, address 331 Northwest. Gwen Lake Boulevard. Uh, we have the petitioner president present, no respondents. Um, Ms. Jones, please proceed. This home is another home that has been actually on fire twice. Um, the current owner is in a nursing home and there's actually a tax lien that is, the, the property's up for sale for taxes and no one has applied for a title. Um, the structure continues to deteriorate and is also overgrown and dangerous to the public. The order was also heard twice, December 14, 2017 and January 14, 2017. Neither orders have been complied with and the city would like to foreclose with a lien in six months and possibly tear down at the city's cost or after a foreclosure has occurred. Has the property owner been properly noticed? Yes, they have. 
there's an affidavit of posting as well as the green card was return signed. And you mentioned the same issue as the prior case. In other words, that the city is requesting an actual lien. Yes, ma'am. And the same thing, um, the city will prepare a proposed lien. Listen to me. Yes, ma'am. I will go ahead and issue a lien as requested by the city. Case number 18283, Diane Sherwin, property located at 954 Northeast Pammy Lane. This property I did want to note to you um, was on your one parcel and it was divided. So your parcel information is different from the first case to now. I did provide the printout of the current property appraiser card. This has been, a, I guess, a real estate issue. This house was built on three different parcels and then the owner combined them into one and then she broke them back out. The Property was first inspected back in 2018. Several large piles of bricks accumulated on the property. Neighbors are complaining of snakes and vegetation growing up around the property. The owner was given the opportunity through the order that was heard on October 10th, 2019. On page three of the order, within 90 days to stack the bricks within six months she was ordered to complete her landscaping projects with the bricks she was going to make uh, planters sidewalks she also was supposed to maintain the vegetation she has not complied with any of those a fine has been accruing of 25 dollars since the 91st day the city would like to place a lien on the property as well as have it the city clean the property up and build the owner, which will also become a lien. And could be foreclosed upon within six months. And the property has been reinspected on several occasions. The green card was signed and I've also spoken to the owner. She had indicated that she would be out of town and would not be attending today. Okay, and so is the city requesting a lien just as the other cases? Yes, a lien um, when the property comes into compliance, once the city actually clears it up, and if she doesn't pay the city's cost, that would become an additional lien. And same thing, will the city provide me with a proposed lien? Yes. Yes, ma'am, we will. Okay. <clears throat> I 
I will go ahead and issue a lien in case number 18283 in accordance with the existing order on that case. Thank you. And then it looks like there's only one other case under new business, case number 2148 involving Edward Geepka, located at 139 Northeast Martin Luther King Street. This property was first inspected on 41521. It's not a very big lot, but it's um, in, a, in a residential area. It has not been mowed in some time. Debris scattered, glass is broken. It's a, an issue for the surrounding neighbors. The order, would, or excuse me, the violation letter went out requesting compliance by 415, or excuse me, 420. It was not complied with. A second inspection was done with the second letter and a notice to appear. The property was posted on the same day. Um, the property has not come into compliance. The green card did return to us on 427. We posted the property on 428. We posted City Hall. We do have an affidavit of posting. We're asking that the order include that the owner comply with the order to clean up, remove all debris, and keep the lot mowed and maintained within 15 days of your order, if not a fine of $25 a day. And within three months of order, if the order if the order is not complied with, the owner would be responsible for the city's cost of resolving the violations. And that would also be billed to him, and if not paid for, a lien. Ms. Jones, can you repeat the remedy request? Sure, sure. The violation be complied with in 15 days of order. If not complied with, a fine of $25 per day start accruing. Within three months, if from the order, if the violation is not cured, the city rectify and resolve the issue at their cost, the owner be billed. That would also be a lien if the owner did not pay for that service and a lien would be sought after that time. Seeing uh, no respondents here, I will, in reviewing the, the record, including the um, city's testimony and the photographs that were submitted in support of the alleged violations, um, I will issue an order uh, consistent with the city's request that the violations be cured within 15 days, and if not, a $25 a day fine will accrue. Um, and then within three months of the order, if the violations are not cured, the city may cure on its own and any costs that the city incurred will accrue as a lien on the property. Thank you, that is all I have for you today. All right, seeing no other business, we will adjourn the meeting.